Now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. All right, let's take a quick look at that flood warning. It's still in effect. We've been talking about this for about a month and a half now. But for the Portneuf River from Pocatel till around McCammon, we are still seeing that warning in place. Current stage at about 9.8. That flood stage still at 8.5. So we are still significantly above that. And so if you do live along that river, you probably have already taken precautions, but definitely should keep that in mind. Storm Tracker, like I said, we were seeing that band move through this evening around the 5 o'clock, and you saw that move through. Definitely a very structured band. It has since tapered off, and we are looking at a couple scattered showers here and there, but still seeing a lot of moisture over in the western Wyoming region, although for the most part in the south half, that is starting to taper off as well. But we're not done yet. We do have another wave of moisture coming in for tonight. And and that could be turning into a winter rain snow mix moving through for the Snake River Plain because those temperatures are getting down very close to freezing. But as we zoom out, you do see that that's not the end of the moisture. There still is some on its way, although we do have a little bit of a dry slot right behind this next wave. So tonight, you see that expect to see that scattered moisture moving through. And then as the morning hours do kick in, we do get a little bit of a break from that moisture. Although temperatures right now, like I said, that's where the real story is as we move forward. 44 in Pocatello, American Falls 44, Blackfoot 44, and a couple spots at or below freezing. Soda Springs and Jackson right around 34, and Yellowstone below at 28. And of course, as we move forward this week, we are going to start to warm up. But it was kind of a shocking transition going from those 60s back down into that winter weather. Tonight, the low temperatures looking closer to those mid-30s. Like I said, very close to freezing in Pocatello, 35. It starts to cool down as well up in Island Park and Yellowstone at 30 and 24. And, of course, Central Mounds are also seeing a lot of those colder temperatures as well, 25 in Stanley, 28 in Ledore, and 30s in Mackey and Haley. So we have a lot of those colder temperatures dotted around as well that are already below freezing, and they're expected to get even lower. As for tomorrow, as those temperatures do start to rebound, they don't rebound that high. We have a colder temperature tomorrow, 47 in Pocatello, 47 in Blackfoot, and 46 in Idaho Falls. And that's even colder than today. But after that, that's when it starts to tip back up. Looking at that future tracker, we do see just rain mixed for the daytime hours for the Snake River Plain, but a lot of snow in both the Central Mountains and the Western Wyoming region. Now, I, I mentioned that warm turn. We do see a pretty windy, cold conditions tomorrow, but as you do look at the seven day, it does start to warm back up into those mid to upper 50s. Not as warm as we saw yesterday, but definitely a welcome sight to see those temperatures starting to move upwards once again. Uh, Idaho Falls sees the same basic, you've got that mix. We have this winter weather that we haven't seen in a while. Saturday and Sunday, we do see it start to scatter out. And then for next week, when it, once it's warmed up, we do start to see the sun again, 53, 55, and Monday and Tuesday for Rexburg. But for the most part right now, we just got to get through that last push of moisture on Thursday, Friday, as it scatters out through the weekend. Teton area, more in the way of snow, and it does extend into next week as well. Monday, Tuesday, you have that extended winter precipitation moving through that mix on Monday, Tuesday, 46 and 47 in that region. And then finally for the Central Mountain, they match that scattered out pattern, seeing that snow on Thursday, Friday, chance of snow Saturday, Sunday and then that clears out on Monday Tuesday and I know we're tired of hearing the words winter listen I know <laughs> you are a meteorologist I know you went to school and you study weather patterns mm -hmm. but that forecast for Saturday and Sunday no offense I just want a second opinion <laughs> okay thanks Paul well